Hi Cancer, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. We are going to do your singles read. Let's see Cancers, what's going to happen? What's coming in your life for all you singles out there? This is going to be a general reading, so take what resonates and leave what does not resonate. For more personals, reach out on WhatsApp, Instagram, and email. I do white prey based spells as well, and we have crystals which are intention charged and high vibrational. Check out more on my Instagram. Do like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And let's see, Cancer, what's coming up for you singles out there? Okay. Wow, this is Cancer card. So we have the Empress which is a cancer card and then we have the oh queen of wands and then wow <clears throat> the moon and the queen of cups there are two people cancer and older women and a young female around your age they have been gossiping against you. They've been behaving like stepmother or stepsisters, kind of a thing, Cinderella vibes. Or there's someone that you know at your maybe through your work or some somehow you're connected with this old lady and a young lady in your age, around your age, male or female, doesn't matter, whoever you are. Uh, you are. They have been planning something negative, and I feel like they've been like, they're jealous of you. That's what I'm seeing, Cancer. I think the main reason why they're jealous of you is one, that you're good looking. Number two, that you are kind and generous and loving and beautiful, male or female, you're handsome, okay? So these are the people that you can't trust. Maybe this is your sibling and your stepmother or your sibling's mother but one person is married another person is unmarried okay i'm not sure about the another person but the older women is married so cancer both of these are this is and this 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 uh, cancer card which i feel like you have either another cancer that is extremely uh manipulative or it just tells me that you intuitively know that these people are not being honest with you okay so that's a message that i'm getting for you singles out there maybe they are creating blockages in your love life you want to leave leave them alone maybe you're living with these people you want to leave this place and you want to have a new beginning in your life okay some of you it is someone that your exes uh known or somehow there is a link here with these people so you're coming out of the situation and embracing the new beginning the new beginning is massive exciting fun all right oh wow i'm also sensing these could be at your workplace as well okay you have a lot of people jealous of you cancer to be honest in your workplace, there are a lot of people that are like, kind of like, especially the same sex people. They have been trying to compete with you. I feel like in the coming time, you have someone even more powerful trying to compete with you. It's because you've raised your vibration. You have reached at a point where you're competing with higher level enemies. But the thing is, universe is showering everything on you and not these people. So that is why you're facing this competition. I'm also seeing there's been a sudden change in your life where you have, you can see your career growth happening. All of a sudden, there's career growth happening in your life. The wheel has started turning in your favor. Whatever you want is coming for you in massive amounts. I feel it's about money that's coming towards you. So when it comes to your professional life, there's massive growth in your money coming in. It could also mean that your person was cheating on you with two to three people. And you came to know and this was extremely disappointing. The lovers and the high priestess. 
there's someone new that's coming into your life i feel could be a pisces or a gemini two people for some of you it's like two people coming into your life that you will be making choice between oh my gosh oh my gosh cancer what is this what is this you're feeling very strong, confident, but the more you're growing in your life, the more haters you're producing. All your friends are turning into enemies. Oh my gosh. The Seven of Swords and the Six of Wands and the Judgment and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you have to be very careful. Be very careful, Cancer. There's someone that you have to be warned, you should be warned about. These people are extremely negative and causing a lot of stress and anxiety. Stay away from them. I'm also seeing there's a lot of infidelity around your lovers coming into your life. They are cheating on you or you can't trust them right now. You clearly want marriage, but the options that are coming towards you are literally want to string you along and not give you the kind of commitment that you've been looking for. So you're not able to make a right decision. You're not able to, you know, trust anyone. There's so much of confusion here. And we have the King of Cups. The Nine of Swords. The Temperance and the Nine of Cups. I feel it's time to keep patience over here. There's someone that is eyeing on you. There's someone that is interested in you, has been watching you, but they can see that you're not in this happy place right now. You're taking extra stress about some people that are coming between you and your dreams and are unnecessarily blocking your way. You're trying to, you know, heal yourself, balance yourself and be in your own power with the nine of cups here. Someone is desiring you, feel they want to wait because they can see that you're not in good situation right now. Two of Cups, the Tower, the Two of Wands and the Nine of Wands. This person wants to ask you out on a date but they don't see you in calm energy these days. They think you're going through a lot. There's some baggage that you need to release. Or it's not even about the baggage cancer. I feel like there are some people that are troubling you energetically. They are causing you mental stress and anxiety. They want to date you. You need to get rid of a person that you're dealing with on a daily basis. I don't know what that is. But you're dealing with someone that is causing you a lot of mental stress, aggression, anger. You need to release someone like that immediately. Maybe they're living somewhere near your house, they're in your house or whatever it is. As long as you're staying there, 
you might not be in this energy of wanting to commit or ready to commit i would say you need to separate yourself from negative things to feel good there's a lot of toxicity around you cancer i can sense yeah so this person is not coming this is a reason why they're not coming towards you they want to make an offer towards you it's time for you to release what you're binding yourself to right now and stay alone stay separate that's very important for you right now to energize to re uh revive yourself there's a requirement you have you should be completing So yeah this is very clear that you need to go out more you need to spend time alone this could be a leo person that is interested as long as you are in this energy of not feeling good you might also create an invisible block in your love life so what i'm clearly seeing here you need to have that mental rest there's a lot of need of rest here because you're going back into the past again and again thinking about things that didn't work out in your favor and mooning over it there's no point you know there needs to be a lot of emotional healing a lot of emotional healing there's a new love coming into your life that's for sure i feel this person knows you and they have a crush on you and they want to they want to be friend you they want to get closer to you but somehow you're busy with other things they want to talk to you so somehow they want to express their thoughts and feelings in a most natural way it's also because they think that it's not going to be easy to convince you high sea aquarius energy and this but this person is stuck this person is stuck on you or you have two people uh coming towards you one person that is very sensitive another person that's full of adventure so you might be not able to decide between these two options you'll be like oh now what do i do because one person you're keeping them on waiting another person came in and they're also attractive and you're like what do i do now that's what you're in you're not taking things seriously is what i'm seeing over here right now cancer community bad health you could be a doctor someone in your family needs more attention especially yeah there's an older female i think either of the two either there's an older female that you need to take care of okay or there is an older female that is doing something on you okay so be careful about that all right reconciliation mhm mm that's why i feel the past person has been extremely infidel and you know this thing and they're trying to come back but you can't trust them sure stuck here they want to take you out on a date i feel your friends may have told you that this person is a flirt i feel like you've accepted this person is not the one so you're forgiving and moving on this person does have a lot of partners here so that is why you're stuck between new love options new options like who should i choose what do i do now that's what i'm seeing here yeah you've left this person what should you do to meet the right person wait because you'll have many many more options coming into your life 
I'm sensing that Cancer, to be honest, in 2023 is not the time for you to finally get committed. But commitment is coming somewhere around 2024. Where 2023 is going to be the time for you to come out of the uh, bad situation. Okay, revive yourself up and start interacting with options because you will have a lot more options coming than you think. You have an Aries, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius coming in as well. So there are a lot of options coming into your life if you just wait. So this is the period. 2023 is the period for you to just look around, enjoy the attention that you're getting and heal yourself and focus on your money because I'm seeing definitely there's some sort of a recognition, major fame and success that's coming to you. Everybody adores you and wants you to make uh, wants to make you the part of their life all you want is love that's coming in for sure embrace your person's gonna come and complete you I feel this is the one they're going to be completing you what is the advice? Prosperity. Some of you, there's a Taurus or a Sagittarius that you'll be dealing with, but the advice over here is very clear. One thing that you need, you need to pay attention to your work right now. This is a time for you to accomplish big things in life by staying focused and having belief that this is coming for you. Whatever you dream of, whatever you want in your life is coming for you. So definitely there is prosperity coming into your life. Things are changing fast. It's time to embrace this change. This this is this is a time where you have to change yourself and become confident in life. I feel like it's all about the uh, battle of life, like becoming strong, becoming powerful, beating all odds, emerging into one powerful being, confident person. That is your challenge in this month, I would say. What other challenges you may be having in meeting the right kind of person? Why are you not able to meet them yet? Hey. Yeah, you need to let go. Letting go is something that is very important. Whoever is hurting you, blaming you, causing you stress... It's time that you bless them, forgive, and move on, and be focused in life, okay? Uh, freedom is important here, okay? You have the free, you should have the freedom to make a choice that you want to make, and you should free yourself from these, you know, thoughts that you've been consistently having, I feel. Advice for cancer. Let yourself feel all your emotions. Clear quads. So you really need clear quads. Because if you're blocking this energy, trying to avoid something, you know, not letting the emotions flow openly and not realizing what's affecting you, you may still stay in this blurred reality, having a blurred vision. So clear quads crystal is really important. Because your feelings are going to determine how things are growing, evolving, changing in your life. That's how you'll be realizing. Okay, this is something that is uh, 
causing me happiness this is something that's affecting me i should work on this i should work on that okay so there needs to be tuning in i feel meditation is something that's very important for you right now cancer the current moment you really need okay so all those who are saying that Okay, we are already doing very well in our lives. We've healed and we are ready to embark on something exciting. Then this might not be the reading for you, to be honest. This this is a this is seem this seems to be a specific read, to be honest. Okay, maybe someone really needs to hear this. Cancer, what are the signs that are coming towards you? Okay, so we have Gemini, we have Capricorn. We have Cancer, we have Virgo. I'm also sensing Pisces, Aquarius, Aries. These are the signs, guys. All right, other than that. So I'll see you again with more stuff. And cheer up and do like, share, subscribe, and comment for more. And I'll be back again. Bye.